I keep coming back to the hardest thing I was ever asked to do. And I hope this resonates with you. When I look back, the hardest challenge I took on personally was running an IT team in a financial services institution. We couldn't separate out building solutions that the business needed to succeed while running those same systems that were ultimately powering the business. Now, fast forward to today, and some things have changed, but many have stayed the same. The world may be a little more complex than it was a decade or two ago, but the state of the art has undoubtedly changed. Today, we have a chance to bring together the world of developers and operations in a unique way. And that's really what Townsend is all about. And looking at this world, there are two technologies that I think will help a lot. And I'm personally thrilled to have an opportunity to work with both of these technologies in both of these communities, Spring and Kubernetes. At the risk of being a little too geeky, one of the things that has been truly wonderful to observe about Spring is that it brings an inversion of control model to developers that enables that separation of development from operations. This means you don't have to worry about the instantiation, configuration, lifecycle management of the things that you build. You just get to focus on building them. Configuration metadata manages the binding to the production systems you rely on for things like storage and messaging. You can separate build from configuration, instantiation, and the updates of the containers that everything is running in. Now, if you squint at it and think about it a little bit, this facilitates a transition from a world where developers have to create platform-aware applications to a new world where developers are perhaps able to rely on application-aware platforms. And this is really powerful. Developers should be platform-aware to get the most out of the environment to some extent but we shouldn't ask them to write their applications in a way that's entirely tied to that environment. Now, along comes Kubernetes, which offers some pretty useful capabilities in terms of being able to manage the life cycle of containers, the ability to stand up services that can be consumed, and it is actively reshaping the destination environment that organizations are building those applications for. With that transition comes an amazing opportunity to strengthen the spring experience simplify operations, but also create value in a world that is ultimately bigger than this wonderful Spring ecosystem. So let's answer three questions. How are we working to bring the vibrant Spring community and the cloud native ecosystems closer together and solve some real problems with Tanzu application platform? The second question is, what are the implications of all of this work beyond the boundaries of the Spring ecosystem? And then finally, where is this all going? Where is our work going to take us over time? What can we expect in the coming months and years ahead that are really exciting? Tanzu Application Platform is being built to answer these three questions. So let's start with the first. How do we make Kubernetes spring aware? And while we're at it, how do we make Kubernetes more intrinsically accessible to you? Well, I don't know how many of you have built Kubernetes-based apps, but one of the key pieces of feedback we get is that it's powerful but it can be a little inscrutable for folks that haven't grown up with a distributed systems background. The initial experience, that wall of YAML, as we like to say, to configure your first application can be a little bit daunting. And I'm sorry about that. We never really intended folks to interact directly with that subsystem. It's more or less developed a life of its own over time. But this is where the Tanzu application platform comes into the picture. It gives you everything you need to build great applications using modern DevSecOps practices and offers a turnkey way to go from your IDE to a production Kubernetes environment. Before I get into the details, it's important to make one thing clear. We built Tanzu application platform to shine on VMware's infrastructure, but our ambition goes well beyond our own technology and in particular, our own version of Kubernetes, that is Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. The system is designed to work well with any conformant Kubernetes environment like GKE, AKS, EKS, or OpenShift in mind. And we're doing a lot of our work in the upstream community to ensure that everyone can benefit from the innovation that we're driving. For developers just getting started, the Tanzu journey begins with our application accelerators. The idea is to take what you already get from Spring Initializer, but instead of just generating Spring artifacts, produce a whole operating blueprint for your application 
from a set of well-formed and curated templates and using curated content that maps to the common application patterns we, use, we see you building day in and day out. Getting going should require less figuring things out and you and your team should be set up from success right from day one. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, well, that's great for day one, but what about day two? That's actually where I spend most of my time. That's where the power of Kubernetes comes in. Tanzu application platform takes the advantages of Kubernetes continuous reconciliation nature and brings it to a very broad ecosystem. It goes well beyond the boundaries of what you typically think of the role of Kubernetes as in terms of container orchestrator and looks at the whole end-to-end -end process of building, integrating, and delivering whole applications. The interface or the contract between the application developer and the operations teams or the operating environment turns up to be a well-defined manifest. This manifest describes both your application, its ultimate infrastructure or service requirements, and most significantly, the workflow the application has to go through and how the automation has to handle the process. So defining this enables automation to take over and create some really powerful outcomes. The system of record for this can be Tanzu itself, or it could simply be a Git repo that you push changes to. All of this choreography happens in a way that is both seamless and transparent to operations teams and should mostly be invisible to developers. When an application has made its way to running in production, a developer can then trigger the whole sequence again and again for application updates. And they can do that by interacting with our UI tools, uh, calling an API, or if they choose to, just set the system up in a way that by simply merging their code into a Git repository, it can trigger this orchestration process. Meanwhile, your security team doesn't have to worry about what kind of mystery meets show up in the containers that your developers download. They can feel good that all the developers are using the same set of trusted container images that meet their compliance requirements. These definitions are based on and can be adapted to meet the specific needs that your application has, not the other way around. So not looking at the environment and trying to fit the application to the environment, but rather looking at what the application needs and setting the environment just right for the application. Another significant benefit of Tanzu application platform is intrinsic observability. We have wired observability capabilities throughout. And this obviously matters to you as you're looking to live with your application in a production environment and make sure that you're meeting your operating SLOs. Stepping back a little, we have taken a strong opinions loosely held mindset. Tanzu app platform comes with some specific opinions around what an optimal turnkey system for building modern applications looks like. But we recognize that our opinion may not match your opinion or your company's opinion. So we make allowances for modularity and pluggability. Here's how I think about it. Are you familiar with the term mechanical sympathy? I'm a bit of a car nut, so this really resonates with me. It was coined by the race car driver, Jackie Stewart, and essentially says that while a race car driver doesn't have to be a mechanic to drive a car, having some level of understanding of the limitations of its systems and the trade-offs that were made enables them to produce better results. You don't have to understand how something works to use it, but you can get the best possible results if you take the time to learn more about it. Now, for those of you who are Java developers, I think this will really resonate. If you want to get the most out of the runtime environment and really push it to its limits, it helps to understand how everything works under the covers. So if you're a sufficiently expert user of a system like Tanzu Application Platform, you may ask for the reconfiguration of some of the underlying systems to meet your precise needs. Tanzu Application Platform is both opinionated and modular. So if you want to peel back the, the, the layers of abstraction, you can do that all the way down to the Kubernetes API. And if that's not for you, that's fine too. It's up to you and your platform team how many layers you want exposed and which aspects of the emerging platform should be fixed and non-fungible. Okay, Hugh, that's quite a lot to take in. I think the best way to really understand this is to take a look at the demo and see what this looks like from a developer's perspective.